I'm Kelly and welcome to Kapowski Reads and this is my June wrap up. So I'm going to start off with the stats because I've been using Storygraph the last few months. Two months. I haven't been using it for long and I'm just loving being able to sort of see how many pages I've read without having to calculate it myself. I read these, this many. These are my physical books and that top one is not aligned but there is absolutely no way that I can align that while holding these all in one hand. That's not happening. <laughs> so I have read 18 books which works out as 5,333 pages. That's quite a nice sounding number. So while I did get through quite a lot of books, a lot of them were relatively short or shorter than usual. And my reading moods, who even knows what a reading mood is, seems to be adventurous, mysterious and dark. And I don't think that those are three words that anybody would ever use to describe me, but let's go with them. They make me sound a bit more exciting. <laughs> and my main genres were fantasy, literary and horror, which I find hilarious because I am scared of everything. <laughs> So the fact that horror is in my top three genres that I have read in June is quite unbelievable. I I am such a scaredy cat. We have motion sensors in the house so that I don't have to walk around in the dark because I don't like the dark. So let's let's just appreciate for a moment that I have read enough horror books for that to have an impact on my my genres read. Because I read so many books, I'm not gonna talk about all of them, especially because so many of the books that I have read and enjoyed, I have mentioned in previous videos. So I will pop links where applicable in the description to the previous videos if anybody wants to hear a longer review. So I'm just gonna talk about my five star reads and just be kind of brief because I've spoken about them before and I'm in danger of rambling so let's just get on with it. <laughs> I was super lucky enough to have five five star reads, I like that ratio and first of my five star reads was The Black Dog by Kevin Bridges. This was featured in my Reading Scottish wrap up and what I loved most about this book was just the characters, especially the characters who weren't the main characters. His best friend Doof Doof just, oh, he made that book for me. I really enjoyed the sort of, the struggle of the main character and the ending of it just, I'm still laughing about it now and it's, it's a few weeks since I've read it. It definitely, that ending is what made it the five star as opposed to a four and a half. I also read and loved Hooked by A.C. Wise. This was one of my books that I read during my week off and it is a reimagining of Captain Hook. I think you would guess from the title and the, the book cover but I just loved everything about this. Everything. I loved the hook that I got in this book. I like that I rhyme and I just thought it was just so a, a wonderful redemption arc. I thoroughly enjoyed this and I am planning to read more books by this author. Another book that I featured in my week off blog, vlog even, was This Strange Way of Dying by Sylvia Marino Garcia. I have now read five books by this author and I have loved five books by this author. This book perhaps gets the award of being the only short story collection that I have given five stars to. I may have given, I actually think I may have given five stars to the Agatha Christie Christmas short story collection. Yeah. So maybe it's tied. It's not a real award, but the award of my heart. <laughs> this is, this is one of the best short story collections that I can remember reading. I loved every single story. There was no weak link. And I struggled so hard to find a favourite story that I couldn't pick one. So I love them all. <laughs> and I continue to absolutely adore everything that this author writes. I've got more books by her. I'm going to read them and I'm sure I'm going to love them too. 
the next book I did mention in my bank holiday reading vlog. I've had a lot of time off. I've done some vlogging. I kind of liked it, so I might continue. And anyway, that book is Other People's Clothes by Kala Henkel. And as you can see, I have tabbed so much of this book because I just loved it and I almost dropped it. <laughs> I just found the language in this was just so nostalgic but witty and I just absolutely loved everything about this and it was a such an amazing example of how I can absolutely love the bones of a book and hate every character in it because I didn't like the characters in this book but I absolutely loved the story and I don't think that I would have loved this book as much if I liked the characters because I think you needed unlikable protagonists or maybe that's just what I was wanting at the time but this book gave me everything that I didn't even know I wanted and I love this. <laughs> I also have one five star read that I have not previously talked about and that is Murder in Mesopotamia by Agatha Christie. This was my Read Christie book and the theme for June was a book featuring archaeology. So there are quite a few options, but this is a book that I have read before and really did want to reread because I hadn't read it in so long and I'd seen the TV adaptation and thought that I could really do with reading the book again. And I absolutely enjoyed it. And despite knowing <laughs> who who done it, I still couldn't see it coming. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm just really terrible at putting murder mysteries together, but that's something I absolutely love about rereading an Agatha Christie, is that even when I know who the baddie is and why they are the baddie, sometimes I just don't see it coming. And that just gives me an extra little element of joy because I think if I saw it coming, I'd maybe feel a bit silly about the times I've read it and not seen it coming, if that makes any sense. So I'm still absolutely loving my Read Christie challenge. Is it a challenge? It's not challenging for me to read 12 books by Agatha Christie in a year, but I'm going to call it a challenge. Or It's organised by the Agatha Christie website, so I suppose I'm going to call it a challenge. And yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I've had such a high readings from my reads so far with them so it's going very well. My favourite book of the month was really hard to pick because I had five amazing reads but I have had to go with Other People's Clothes by Kala Henkel as being my book recommendation of the month because look look at all those tabs. I'm not a tabber but with this book I was. I read this book in the first weekend of June and I haven't stopped thinking about it yet and I keep quoting parts of it so I think that is a huge huge hint that that is my book of the month because I've not shut up about it and it's been about three and a half weeks. This month I also did I did my TBR a little bit differently because it was my birthday in June and I just wanted to do something a little a little bit fun, a little bit whimsical. So I did some birthday bingo-ing and my prize, if I ticked all of the boxes, was that I could buy five books because I am trying to reduce the number of books I buy. Let's ignore the fact that I got 11 books as gifts. I'm not really reducing my TBR at all, but <laughs> I have been buying fewer books and I am sticking to it. So I wanted to give myself a treat in the form of being able to buy five books if I ticked all of the boxes. And I did, I did. I ticked all of the boxes. So five books being bought by me. <laughs> so I get my reward and I, I feel, I feel like I'm okay with giving myself that. It was very close though. There was a strong chance that I was not going to get it because I messed up a little when it came to ticking the box for finishing a series. When I was making the board, at no point did I consider the fact that I did not have any current series where I only had one to read. 
I had at least two for every single series that I was part way through. Apart from books I didn't already own and that defeats the purpose if I'm going to start buying books to do challenges to let myself buy books. That makes no sense. So I actually started reading Ready Player One in the hope that I could then read Ready Player Two. That is hard to say but I just I didn't enjoy Ready Player One enough to continue with the series straight away. I will read the second book but I didn't want to read it just now so I had to then look at my other series and then started a couple of them but just wasn't feeling them and then I picked up Beasts in Velvet by Kim Newman which is a horror book with beautiful spreadies and this was book three in a four-part series and I just loved it. I love Vampire Genevieve. So I finished that series. That was the series I finished. I read Silver Nails, so also lovely spreadies. So that finishes off a series. So finally got that tick. And I got that tick on the 29th of June. So super last minute. And I'm feeling really good about actually completing that and finishing one of the series that I wanted to finish this year. So feeling very positive just now, which is a lovely way to feel. My TBR for July is a little bit uncertain because I'm just, I'm feeling a little bit indecisive at the moment. It feels like I just don't know what I want to read. So I don't really want to set myself too many goals and then not achieve them because that doesn't sound like fun. But there are some books that I have to read. So I suppose I'm just going to go with those as my TBR. So I need to read At Bertram's Hotel by Agatha Christie because this is the Read Christie official pick for July. I also have a read along with some friends. So I'm going to be reading When I Was 10 by Fiona Cummins. I am terrible for not taking stickers off of books. So let's just ignore that I've not taken this one off. <laughs> I've also borrowed a couple of books from a friend that I would love to get them read so that I can return them. I don't like having books on loan from people for too long so I am aiming to read Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albert Halley and I'm going to be reading Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe and I'm really excited about reading both of these. They have came to me very highly recommended. If you've read any of these books, then I would love to know how you've gotten on with them. And I'd like to know what your favourite book is of the month, because I just love knowing what other people have been enjoying. I'm so nosy when it comes to what people are reading. Thank you for watching.